Hey, Soldier Knows Best here, and this is a quick demonstration of iDVD 08. And this comes part of the iLife suite that comes pre installed and free on every new Mac computer. And it's a great program used for editing home movies, presentations, or you know, any type of movies that you want to put on DVD. This is a great program to use for it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. And once you see here, it has an easy to use um, user interface. You don't even need no instructions for it, everything's uh, pretty much to the point. Uh, pretty simple here. This main window here is where you're going to actually edit all your media on your DVD and it's just going to be an exact rep representation of how your DVD is going to look on the final product. And right now my current theme here is the revolution theme and you can edit your themes. It has a lot of different themes from past versions of iDVD and they have a, a few good um, themes in the, the current version of iDVD. Uh, so the, to the right hand side here is going to be your um, basically your media bar, that's what I call it. This is where you can find all your media here and you're going to be able to drag it and drop it and put it on your DVD in your main window here. And the bottom here you're going to find um, some other buttons here that you'll see me using this, this quick demo. So like I said, I picked this theme right here. Uh, let me show you some other themes. Just hit the theme buttons right here. We're going to get access to other themes and you can change them uh, very quickly. Get one for little kids. Some ones for a wedding and stuff like that. Uh, this is a nice theme right here. But anyway, I'm going to stick with this revolution theme. And you see here, it has a drop zone one. I wish we this row right here. But what these are drop zones. This is where you can drop movies or you know photos or stuff like that. And it'll actually take the place on the actual theme itself. So let me demonstrate that for you. So I hit my media button. And I want to get to my movies. And now I'm in my iTunes library. I'm going to say I want to add this WWDC keynote. I simply click on it, drag it, and drop it right in the drop zone. And there it'll start playing. And now you can see it. Um, and say you want to edit where this video starts, go ahead and click on the drop zone. Now you have movie starting the end comes up. And you simply drag the slider uh, to exactly where you want it to start. Say I want it to start there. Click out of it. That easy. Okay, and I want the keynote to be the main feature on my DVD, so all I need to do is just drag it and drop it here, right in this open space here, and there you have it. Now, this is where somebody would click on it, just like you use a regular DVD to start playing the movie. And also, you can add a slideshow to it, simple and easy. So I click on my Photos button. Now I'm in my iPhoto library, and I have a folder here uh, for my graphic designs that I designed. So all I want to do is make this a slideshow. I just drag it and drop it and you can edit the name of it you can edit the font and uh, stuff like that of your, uh, your things here and when you double click the keynotes it actually start playing just like you would on a regular DVD so this shows you exactly how it's going to come out okay so I, like I said I just added the slideshow and say I want to edit the slideshow double click it and then you see all my photos that are, are actually in the slideshow and I can drag and rearrange these any way I want And now let's say I want to also add some music to my slideshow. All I need to do is click on my audio button. Type in the name of the song or the artist that I want. Let's see here. And drag it here. And you can either drop it right here, right on top of the photos, or you can drop it right here in this little your um, audio section. I usually just drop it right there on the photos. And you can also here edit the slide duration, set it to one second. And the transitions for each photos, and just I'm just gonna put cube. And now you will see how this is gonna look. All you need to do is hit play. And there you go. Very quick slideshow right there for you. Get back to my main menu, and um, say you hear the um, default music for your main uh, menu here. You can also change that very easily. Find a song that you want. Drag it, drop it, and it changes it. Okay, and also this button right here is, is you can see a tree, and it basically brings all your media in the tree, so you can actually see uh, a very quick and simple uh, look at your media that you have in your DVD, exactly where it's located at. Get back to the regular menu here, and also a cool thing here, 
say you get to the end of it and say you don't like the theme that you got and you want to change the theme, all you need to do is click on the thing and it'll automatically just keep the media and everything the same and just change the theme for you so you won't have to do a lot of readjusting or like starting all the way over or anything like that. Okay, and once you're done, go ahead and you can hit play to see exactly how it's going to look on the DVD. So somebody's going to click on it. Graphic design, so it goes just like that. Get back to the main menu, start the keynote, and there you have it. And there's a quick demonstration of iDVD08, part of the iLife suite that, like I said, comes free on every Mac. Great, powerful, um, simple to use program that you can use and to make great looking uh, DVDs. So, this is Miss Soldier Knows Best. Take a look at my channel if you not have not already. Um, subscribe to it if you like what you see, and you can catch more videos like I do like this all the time. And I guess I'll catch you later. Peace.